All right, so Google has a new feature for everyone who has a basic Google account, not the paid version of a business workspace. Uh, you can upgrade later on, but let me show you the basic and the free Google booking calendar, which is a great feature to have if you only need one, one booking slot. So let me go ahead and make myself smaller. All you have to do is go to your Google calendar, basic account, and then click create appointment scheduling, and then poof, it will pop up. So all you have to do is give it a name and you only have one free one. In order to have another booking page, you need to upgrade, which I believe it's like $10 a month. So if you only need one, then you can edit and delete as you need. So let me go ahead, uh, let's talk. Let, I'm gonna name it, let's talk, let's talk. Um, appointment duration, one hour. I usually don't like meetings to go that long because it really does drain my energy. I don't know about you guys, but meeting one-on-one -on -one is very um, exhausting sometimes. So I only wanna meet, I have, I know myself, I have the most energy on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no to Fridays, definitely not Thursdays or Wednesdays. I, and I only wanna meet people from 9 a.m. until 10.30. And we'll do the same here, 9 a.m. to 10.30. That's it, that's enough for me. That's all the energy I have to meet with people. This scheduling window is awesome because I can put, okay, available now, but it must be within at least, I would say, two days in advance, maximum time in advance that an appointment can be booked. Maximum time in advance that an appointment can be booked, two days in advance. Minimum time before the appointments start. You know what, for this we'll do 30 days, and then no, we'll keep it at 60 days. Minimum time before the appointments start that can be booked. So I don't want four hours before an appointment because I want to make sure that I have more than enough time to prep for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 48 hours. So that's two days in advance enough time for me to either prep, do some research, or figure out how I can help this client. Adjust the time, change appointment settings, no buffer time, no, I need buffer time before the next meeting. So we'll go ahead and put just 15, I'm gonna put 15 minutes in between each meeting because I don't want to have um, too much time in between meetings because then my energy will go down and I won't have, you know, that I won't have enough energy for the next meeting. Maximum bookings per day, yes, I need a maximum amount of four. I think that's a really good sweet spot to have just four a day. And then calendar checked. Right here, you're only gonna have, if you have the basic free version, you're only allowed to have one, and that's it. But of course, you can upgrade, and let me show you that pop-up window. Yeah, it's $9.99 or $8.33 a month if you do the annual payments, which is all one in a large sum. We don't need that because we just need one appointment once, there you go. So we're gonna, oh, we can also change the colors. If I just want it muted, I'm gonna do great, there you go. So once I hit next, it goes bookable appointment, let's talk, yes. Booking page and photo, this is what is what's going to display when people see it. And then location, I'm gonna go ahead and put Google Meets, that's how I like to meet with people. And a quick note, description area, you can put whatever you want, such as let's say you want to meet people five minutes early or give them a grace period that if they're five minutes late, you're gonna move on to the next meeting or you're gonna cancel the meeting, whatever the, it is, you can write it here. Um, I'm just going to put is after a five minute grace period, if you oh, you are a no-show, I will assume you are not attending and meeting will be canceled. I've had that happen to me where, you know, people forget about their meetings or people are running late, uh, but they'll give me like a heads up, hey, I know we have this meeting at 1 p.m. Make sure, um, I just wanted to let you know I'm running a little bit late because of this. Please meet me in 10 more minutes or 10 minutes late. So, oh, that makes sense. Please message me if running late. See, so that is a perfect thing to put. Uh, booking from, okay, so this is 
This gives you the option of adding any more items besides the name, the last name, their email address, which all of this is required. You can add here a phone number or a custom item. I will put a custom item and put reason for meeting. And then I'm gonna put require because I want to know why we're meeting. And that is why I have the prep time so I can have all my notes ready to go. I'm gonna add the item, it looks perfect. Okay, so we go down, you do have the option of payments and cancellation policy, but you have to upgrade. <laughs> you know Google wasn't gonna give you something for free. They kinda just give you a little taste of it. So if you like it and then you're like, mm, I wanna get paid for my meetings, there you go. They're gonna make you upgrade for it. So you'll see the premium here and then of course if you click on it it's going to give you the same thing that it gave us earlier the paid version we're not going to do that we just want to go through it booking confirmation and reminders i love that they allow you to do this so let's say that is all okay we're done we have our book bookable appointment schedule <laughs> let's talk and let's go ahead and open our booking page this is how it shows to people that i'm only available on mondays and tuesdays and that's it and okay this is not supposed to be here so we can also edit so let's go ahead and do that but if you come here to see what others see you, it would show you that i am only available on mondays and tuesdays and that's it so we need to fix this because this is incorrect i probably did something wrong for sure so all you have to do is go back to your calendar and click edit appointment schedule yeah, there it is. I put it until 10 p.m. That was my fault. So let's go ahead and put 10.30. Oh, I put 11.30. There you go. What's wrong with me today? And then, you know what? I don't like the color anymore. Let's choose. No, let's leave it to pink. Flamingo. Okay, there you go. We'll save it. And now if we put, if we see our booking page, that's how it looks, appointment schedules, and then they click on it and it goes there. So the great thing about this is that once you hit that share button, move myself again, you can link it and send it through email for people or so much fun, they allow you to embed it with a button with pop-up and that's how it looks. You, had, you just grab the code and you go. Oop. And an inline booking page so again just copy the go the the code and go and that's all you have to do it's so easy and so simple all right so that is the free version of the google basic plan so people can book you so you can have a booking slot so you won't have to pay calendly or anything else if you only need one booking slot now if you need them to pay before seeing your before meeting with you then you do have to upgrade but if you're just using this for personal accounts such as um, if you meet with your sister or you meet with people and you want to do it through your booking page and instead of FaceTiming or trying to figure out um, everybody's schedule they can just choose <laughs> when they can call you when they can meet with you and that's it it's so easy and simple this is probably one of the best features that Google has come up with this year I love it it definitely does help out to meet with people when you're starting off or if you have a busy schedule and you're kind of just trying to figure out when you can meet with people, this is a good way. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. That is all I have for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Bye.